Also at 530, Rhode Island taxpayers now stand to lose more than a million dollars in commercial truck registration fees. We're now shedding light on a change set to benefit truckers but cuts revenue for Rhode Island. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen has the new details for us now. Speaker Nicholas Mattiello's office says they intended to cut fees to all commercial trucks that travel through the state, but the estimated cost of that cut didn't tell the full story. An 11th hour deal to help out commercial trucks actually cost taxpayers an estimated $1.1 million more than originally revealed according to the Department of Revenue. Commercial truck registration fees were reduced by 50%. We believe it was an ill-advised uh, uh, piece of legislation, uh, hastily drawn up, not vetted properly. Chris Maxwell with the Rhode Island Trucking Association claims it was to help ease concerns about new tolls. It was a gesture to the business community uh, to take some of the pain away for tolls by giving half price registrations to in-state commercial trucks. But the DMV administrator confirmed to me it's not just Rhode Island based trucks. Once it, it went through, yes. I mean, that was the, the, the plan. Trucks that travel interstate, their registration fees are prorated among the states that that vehicle travels in. Out of state trucks also get the financial break too, according to federal law. They're giving money back to the trucks that they're tolling. That's that's all you need to know about this. Once the fee reduction was passed, the cost was estimated at $4.3 million. But now, including out-of-state trucks, the real cost is $1.1 million more. Speaker Nicholas Mattiello's office says they always intended to include out-of-state trucks. But Maxwell says they should have revealed the additional cost. It puts a, a critical dent in an existing funding stream. And we received this statement from a spokesperson for Speaker Nicholas Mattiello, Larry Berman. Let me reiterate that the intent of the legislation was to include all trucks. If the data provided was incomplete, it may require adjustment. The money for registration fees goes into the Highway Maintenance Fund. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.